Today I will show you how you can create a basic elevator in the Unreal Engine 4. So first of all create the elevator mesh. In my case just a building with a small platform that will move up and down. Then make sure that the platform is a static mesh and that the mobility is set to moveable. Now we have to add a button or a static mesh that will signalize to the player that there is something to activate or that he has to move to this position to enable the elevator. In my case I will just add this lamp now. And set the mesh to moveable. And I will just rotate it a little bit and then move it up, like this here. Now we have to attach this lamp here to a platform, because otherwise when we move the platform it will just stay down there. And we want to move it like this one here, that it goes with the platform up and down. And therefore we will just have to attach this one here to this one, so to the platform, the lamp to the platform. And we do that in the level blueprint, so just select the lamp. Then go to the level blueprint, do a right click, type in attach and then add an attach actor to actor. Now down here at the attach location type, choose keep word position and at in parent we have to add our lift, so our platform. So just select this one here, then I will go back into a level blueprint, do a right click and add reference to lift and connect it with in parent actor. Now do another right click, go to add event and then just add an event begin play. Which we, will, which we will connect with the attached to actor. Okay, that's it. Now we have attached the lamp to a platform so that it will move up and down with the platform. So click on to compile. Now we have to create the matinee sequence which will move the platform up, so to this position. Therefore, we just have to go to matinee, then click on to add matinee. In here, just do another right click and add a new empty group and enter. Then with the static mass selected, so with the platform, do a right click to the new group, go to actors, and then go to add selected actors. Now we have to add a move track, so just do another right click onto the, onto the new group, then go to add new movement track, and now we can move the mesh up and down. So just minimize this a little bit, let's go down and put this to max. Okay, now press enter for the first time, to so set one keyframe, then move the timeline to the end, Move the static mesh up to the maximum and then press enter again. And as you can see here, it moves up now. Now just close this and select the matinee actor in your level. So make this the matinee actor 4. Then with the matinee actor selected, go into the level blueprint. Then do a right click, type in play. Oops. Play. And then add a play node. Then do another right click, type in reverse and add a reverse node. Now go back out from the level blueprint and now we have to add some triggers. So the first trigger will be added here. So go to the, where is it, to the basic tab and then just add a box trigger. Which will set here. Then with the triggers I like to go back into our level blueprint. Do a right click and then add event for trigger box 1 and then we will go to collision and I will just add a add on actor begin overlap. And I will connect this one here with the play. Because now when we touch the trigger it will just play the animation so the platform will move up. Now we have to add another trigger. So we will just go to basics, box trigger and this one we will place it right here. So here. And with the trigger selected, we go back into our level blueprint. Then we do another right click. And we do the same as before. So add event for trigger box 3, collision, add act on begin overlap. And th this one we will connect with reverse. And that's it. That's how to create the lift. So just go to compile and try it out. So play from here. Now we go to this edge here. And it will move up. So you can see here. And the lamp is also here. Now we go back to this one here. It will move down. Oops. And here we can just move up, down and as you like. And yeah, that's how to create a pretty simple elevator. You can also add some doors that will open or close, but I will just keep it really, really basic now. And yeah, thank you for watching and until next time.